Do you want it? You have to be gentle. Little bite. Just a little. Look, gentle. Oh, good boy. <laughs> no, you don't get the whole spoon. Oh, hello. I guess it's my birthday today, and welcome back. We're gonna be doing a video on making myself a birthday cake because I am not doing anything, and I'm kind of a sad, and all I wanna do is make a cake from The Sims. We're gonna do a blue funfetti cake from The Sims. It's like a three-tier cake with uh, sprinkles and blue frosting, and we're just gonna make the best of it because, you know, this year is canceled, so. <laughs> A year ago I was at PAX, Jim was there, and it was a great time, and now I'm here. I really miss being able to go do things and being able to see people and actually do anything with my life. So here we are, I'm gonna make a cake. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it with me. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, comment what type of foods you'd wanna see me to do in the future because I'm doing the series Anna Bites where we are making food from video games. We're starting with Sims stuff. Once I get bored with Sims food, I will move on to other games. Put your requests in the comments below and I will definitely get to as many of them as I can. I'm looking to do about two videos a week and this is my third week doing that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna go see in The Sims what it takes to make this blue confet funfetti cake and then we're gonna hop back in the kitchen. So I will see you guys very soon. All right, so it looks like you need cooking level six to be able to bake the blue confetti cake. And there you go. Let's see how she does it. She gets her eggs and butter and uh, flour and dry ingredients out of the fridge. Stir it all together real nice. Easy. Oh, flip the bowl. I did not do that. <laughs> I think I would fail. Okay, some liquid, maybe vanilla. Spin the bowl a little bit more. Oh, Jesus. You're a, a, a mess. You're a mess. That's fine. <laughs> She's doing great. Oh, the pan's already in the oven. Throw it in there. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. Other than the fancy tricks, I want to see how it looks in the game for sure. Because I've actually never cooked this in Sims. I've heard of it. <gasps> oh, it's pretty. Okay, so it's frosted around the bottom and all over the top, dripping down the edges with extra sprinkles on top. Cute. Eat it. Eat a piece. I want to see the inside. Oh, wait, come back. <gasps> okay, but hers is two tier. How come they lied to me and said it was going to be a three tier? Oh, well, ours is going to be three. It's fine. Hey, it looks good, though. I think mine's going to look a little prettier than that even, though. So I can't wait. What do you guys think? I, this girl, like, I'm just making so much food. This is my life. I don't mind the stinky food. Anyone want to come over for some cake? I have a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go and bake away. Okay, first we're gonna set the oven to 350 and start and give that a few minutes to get ready. We're gonna start making the batter. So first we're just gonna spray our three nine inch pans. You wanna get even pans, matching pans if you can. And then we cut up some parchment paper to fit. And that's gonna go at the bottom there so we don't get it sticking for each one. And there we go. My mom got me some awesome new measuring tools. Look at that. And some little cups right here. So we will be using those. What is with my camera focus? Stop. Ah, it's fine. We'll be using those today. And you guys will be able to see like the size measurements and stuff a lot better. <laughs> so, yay. All right, to start, we're gonna do three cups of flour. I had this little scooper, which is not actually helping. <laughs> I'm making more of a mess as I scoop this. Next time I'm not, I'm not using this. <laughs> right now it's not working. All right, one cup of flour, two cups of flour, three cups of flour. So we're mixing our dry ingredients together for the batter. The flour, the baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So baking powder, we are doing just a little bit two teaspoons and I bought some new baking powder because the one that we had in the cupboard was like a few years old and I just I don't I don't know sometimes I just want things to be new <laughs> I don't want to use really old ingredients you know so we got some fresh stuff today it's a good stuff too baking soda is only half a teaspoon just a little bit go and then half a teaspoon as well of the salt perfect 
So that, you have your ingredients well combined. Then we're gonna get the liquid part next. And we're gonna use an awesome, not a KitchenAid, but a Sunbeam. So this should work pretty well. I love this thing. You guys will see in just a second. Okay, so we're gonna put our butter. I did have to put it in the microwave slightly because it wasn't quite room temperature enough, which is fine. But I didn't fully melt it, so we're good. We're gonna do the butter and the eggs. Sugar, sugar, sorry. I know what I'm doing. It's been a while since I baked, okay. So how much sugar are we doing? We're doing one and three quarters cups. All right, so one. Look at all that sugar. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Now we're gonna get this all turned on, hopefully, and let it blend together. If I can figure out how to use this thing. It's been a while. And the cool thing about this one is that the vase spins. I really like that. The KitchenAids usually don't, unless you get like the really expensive ones. The KitchenAid I had in the past was just stationary and stuff wouldn't get all the way around. But this, I know you probably can barely hear me, but this combines really nicely. You don't have to put much effort. Just let it do its thing for a couple minutes. Turn it up just a little bit now, and this will go for about three to four minutes till it's nice and fluffy, okay? All right, that's getting about ready. Nice and fluffy. Then you're gonna add your eggs. Oh, I had messed with the food coloring and I already got food coloring on the egg. Don't worry about it, it's fine. And we're gonna put in our eggs one at a time. Until they get combined nicely. Beautiful. And then we're gonna turn it down a little bit and add our vanilla. I got some great homemade bourbon vanilla from one of my mom's friends or something. Madagascar bourbon vanilla, yeah. And that's gonna go in one tablespoon. And you just wanna make sure that's well combined before we start adding our flour mixture. Okay, very wet. We'll make it. Hopefully, this will all fit. <laughs> I got a lot of a lot of material here. All right, starting to put our dry liquids in slowly, a little bit at a time. We'll alternate that by adding our buttermilk, one and a half cups. So I would do about a quarter cup at a time. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be flour mixture, quarter cup of buttermilk. Let that mix up. More flour mixture, more buttermilk, more flour until you're done. Got it? Okay, looks pretty good. We're gonna add some more flour to it. Just about that much. One more quarter of buttermilk. Getting ready. Let that mix a little bit better. And then I'll add the buttermilk. Make sure to scrape the sides to make sure things get combined well. Beautiful. More flour time. Probably about two more times. We'll have this done. All right, I just put the last bit of the flour and the buttermilk together. And we're just gonna mix until it combined. You don't wanna over mix it. The less you mix, the fluffier it'll be. But you still want it to be well combined, you know? So I think, I think we're about good. All right, so we're gonna use sprinkles. So sprinkles, you're gonna wanna use these kind, the little like long and skinny ones. Don't use like this or any of these other ones or the little ball shaped ones. They will bleed into your batter more. So the long skinny sprinkles are the ones that you wanna go with. These are the best ones I could find. So we're gonna we're gonna use those colors. I think they'll be nice. I don't. I mean, they're not as vibrant as 
like the rainbow colors that I was hoping, but they are still a good combination of, you know, pink, purple, uh, yellow, white. Yeah, it's like Easter, but you know, it's fine. Totally not Easter, but it's fine. So we're gonna fold those in with a spatula. So we're pretty much just gonna use all the sprinkles in this corner that I have because it's supposed to be about three quarters of a cup. However much you think you want, more or less doesn't really hurt. The more the prettier it's gonna look. Oh, it's nice and fluffy, dang. I like it. Come on, sprinkles. You're supposed to be in there, not on the, not on the stick. Get out of there. All right, folding them in. Sprinkle more. We're running out. It's okay. All right, it's all gone. And nothing else in here would work, I don't think. I do have <laughs> Christmas sprinkles, but I'm worried that they will clash. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna hope that this is enough sprinkles to make it look funfetti. It'll be enough. Obviously, you might wanna use a little bit more than what I put in. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't add much different flavor. It's more for the looks, you know? Beautiful. All right. There we go. I think we are ready to pour it into our pans, possibly. I get as many sprinkles as I can off of this. And now we are gonna pour our batter between the three pans evenly and hope for the best. I hope this is all right. I mean, they look really nice and fluffy. I don't know how much I wanna put, so I'm gonna put that much. The other two and then see how much I have left to share between them, you know? I don't wanna put all in one and then not have enough size for the other two. One, two, and three. Oh yeah, we got plenty of batter. We got perfect amount. It's only a little messy, guys. I know, I know. Baking is messy, but you know, you just kinda get used to it. This is your life. If you wanna make baked awesomeness, it's gonna be a little bit of a cleanup. Actually, yeah, I think I did about a third of each gonna scrape all this out. Yes, I want more sprinkles, but eh, it's gonna be pretty cause it's gonna be coated in blue frosting anyway. So hopefully it'll still look good. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna spread it out in each pan, nice and even, beautiful. All right, one ready. This one's actually a little bit fuller. It's fine, doesn't need to be perfect, right? It might poof up a little. I hope they don't poof up too much. I mean, we're gonna be cutting them, right? Cutting them flat if they do, All right? Number two and number three. Easy. I hope this will work okay. Oh god. This one might be a problem. It's fine. No, it'll be fine. I'm not I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna stress. It's gonna turn out just fine. This one's a little smaller. <laughs> oh well. Good as we're gonna get, okay. Haven't done a three-tier cake in a long time. Or ever. I think I've done like a two-tier. I don't know if I've done three, so hopefully this works out. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna be a little skinnier. <laughs> These other two are about the same. Uh, so we got, you know, three different sizes. That's fine. All right, we got one going in, two going in, and three. Now we cook them for 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll set a timer for 25. Start, and let's go. So while the cake was getting baked, I did get all my stuff ready for the frosting. I was gonna get the frosting ready, but we couldn't find uh, unsalted butter, it was a whole thing. But we used salted butter and just omitted the salt from the frosting, so it evens out. I don't know, it's fine. And then we found this little piping, a uh, pampered chef piping tool that apparently will work really well. I've never used something like this, so we'll see how it turns out for the frosting. And maybe we'll make it look semi-professional and not as like crappy with a Ziploc bag and me making a big mess everywhere <laughs> like it was gonna be, so yeah. And the cakes are about to come out of the oven, so yay. Yep, looks like they are ready, at least the top two. I'm gonna leave the bottom one in just for a few more minutes because it was a thicker one. But these two are definitely ready. I stabbed it a little to test, but looks good. Ooh, and pretty. Well, yeah, it's a little more rounded. So we're gonna, we're gonna put you for about four more minutes. There we go. The last cake is about ready. We're gonna pull that out of the oven, I think. Yeah, I think it's good. Beautiful. All right. We'll set it out here to cool with its friends. All right, and now in our handy mixer, we're gonna do a cream cheese frosting. So half a cup of butter. I almost made buttercream and cream cheese frosting in like one, because I almost put too much butter, but only half a cup. And then one block of cream cheese, the good stuff. 
Alright. Oh. Nice and crumbly. <laughs> go. There we go. Cream cheese. That's going to beat together on medium for two minutes. That's mixed well. You're gonna do our powdered sugar. Three cups. I do one cup at a time till it's mixed in. On low. Second cup. One teaspoon of your vanilla. Once that looks combined, we're going to turn it up for about three more minutes to make sure it's nice and fluffy. Almost forgot, you got to add your food coloring to make it blue. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty, my favorite color. All right, I think it looks ready. Nice and fluffy. Blue frosting for our blue Funfetti cake. All right, now we just gotta wait for the cakes to finish cooling. All right, so the cakes are cooling. We're waiting for them. Probably be a couple hours before I'll be able to safely frost them because if you do it too soon, the frosting will just fall off and that's no fun and not pretty. So yeah, I got I got my tasty cream cheese frosting, which is my favorite frosting, so that's why we're doing it today. They said to use the buttercream frosting, but I was like, no, I want cream cheese. So I made myself cream cheese frosting for my birthday. Yay. All right, we found a really pretty cake tray got little legs and stuff so this is like gonna make it look good even if it looks like a mess and then the next goal is to get your frosting in whatever you're piping and that can be a mess so i thought you guys might want to see me struggle at least this is technically easier probably than any other way i've done it i usually just put it in a ziploc bag with a, a piping tip and it usually turns out really messy and a pain in the butt so thankfully my parents had this and I think it's gonna turn out even better. This frosting is so good. It's like light and fluffy and like not too sweet, you know? Definitely a cream cheese frosting. Way better than buttercream. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. I like this better than a bag. All right, that's a mess still, but <laughs> it's fine. Well darn, there's some on the outside. I guess I can eat it. <laughs> All right. I don't have the cakes ready yet, but it's in there. Now I gotta get the cakes figured out how I'm gonna do that. Huh. Okay, it fits. Okay, 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 it's scary. It's scary, I don't like it. Blue dye all over, like from my hair, from the frosting, blue everywhere. All right, so the cakes are still warm, so we're gonna still wait a couple, uh, a little bit longer. But I'm gonna get them out of the tray at least and kind of allow them to cool a little bit more naturally. All right, so hopefully these come out without falling apart. Aha! That actually worked pretty well. All right, not too shabba. I'm just separating it from the edge a couple on the couple parts that were stuck to the edge, but should work okay. Ooh, it's it's actually pretty fragile, so <laughs> we're trying to put two on this tray. Aha! Honestly, I'm surprised. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna turn out a little worse for the cakes, but. Okay, this one looks like it could have, this one was the thinnest one, so you can tell it got a little more cooked. This one's not undercooked, it's just could be like maybe two more minutes, right? But it's not bad, because we're gonna be covering it with the frosting and it won't matter, right? Is do this one for the base, because it's the biggest one, um, and I think it'll hold it better. So we're gonna put that on the crystal tray and then let them all cool before moving these two on top of the third one on the tray, okay? Very fancy. Okay, let's hope this works. Ha <laughs> Like, honestly, this is like perfect. Holy cow. That one looks like it might've gotten a little, maybe I did it for too, too many minutes, but I still think it's gonna be nice. We got three cakes, so there's our, our base. Beautiful. And now we wait for them to finish. They look good, huh? All right, so now we can start frosting, I hope. 
<laughs> I hope I do this okay. Gotta combine them, the cakes are nice and cool. And we got our frosting here. Now, how does, how is this gonna work? Ugh, it's very stiff. Maybe I shouldn't have put it in the fridge. I thought in the fridge would be a good idea though. Okay, so instead of trying to do the piping for the inside, I'm gonna let that warm up a little bit because it was in the fridge. I have leftover frosting here that I'm gonna use for the inside and I'm just gonna spread it on the cake itself. Okay, and then we'll do the decorations with the piper. But I think this will work a little better. I was getting ahead of myself, I think, with that, the frosting and the piping machine. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think this is still gonna taste good. <laughs> you know. Have you ever made yourself a birthday cake? I think I have like once before, maybe. Nice, even layer, even as we can without screwing it up. Yeah. All right, next cake. I'm worried that this is gonna fall apart. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is falling apart. This is fine. <laughs> okay, so this was the most underdone one and it is falling apart just a little bit, but hey, I got it in one piece. There's, don't mind a couple little pieces that fell off. It's fine. <laughs> Not bad. Now we gotta put some frosting in the middle before we put the next one. I'm going on right now, hoping this holds it all together. Should. Gizmo, you wanna help? I gave him a piece that crumbled off. He'll be happy. Do you like it? I think he liked it. It's falling and crumbling and fine. Gizmo. He's like right next to me. Like, are you gonna give me more? But maybe if you're good, I can give you some frosting. But I need to make sure I have all that I need. All right, cake is gonna be huge. And now we put the last layer, and this one looks like it's gonna stick together. Yeah, hold together all right. So that's good. Haha! <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the biggest cake I've ever made. All right, looks like a hamburger or like a chicken sandwich, right? It's got like the buns and the sandwich in the middle. I don't know. Yummy! Do you want it? You have to be gentle. Little bite. Just a little, look, gentle. Oh, good boy. <laughs> no, you don't get the whole spoon. Drop. You lick it, lick it. <laughs> he was like, I'll take the whole spoon, please. Thank you. There you go, you like it, huh? Blue frosting. He's like, yes, give me the whole thing. Mm, that's it, no more. Now what? So this is turning out pretty good. I just hope I have enough frosting, actually. <laughs> that's okay. So we're gonna throw on top what I got left from the pan the bowl spread that around and then we're gonna frost with the pipe i think in the in the piper we have quite a bit but i'll do this like a thin layer on the top we'll make it work you know ah and i get to put sprinkles on it yes art now we figure out if i can use this thing are you gonna work oh it's softer now so it should it's gonna work a little better i don't know how that's gonna work for us it's still a little difficult to get out of the thing I thought it would be easier, but it seems harder. It shouldn't be that difficult. It's coming together, it's almost done. This is really hurting my wrists. <laughs> it's fine. All right, that looks okay, getting there. All right, so I put a different tip on. We're gonna see if I can fill the whole middle of the cake with it, just to fill it up and add more frosting to the very top. Hopefully this works. Actually, yeah, that is working. Definitely easier than the, the star. They're supposed to be stars or flowers or something. Don't, don't judge, it's, it's fine. Can we put around the base of the cake? I don't know, or do, let's do one more layer of this. I'm supposed to put more frosting on that bottom edge, so we'll try that. All right, so we're gonna see what we can do here to make this look a little better. <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> more difficult. It's fine. It's a little messy, but it'll, it'll be, it'll be great. Getting there, getting there. 
think I want to do around the top part too. It's not quite exactly looking like the Sim one, but that's okay. It's gonna be a bear cake, okay? I mean, there's plenty of frosting. There still could be more. I'm getting there. Maybe if we can just do this, it'll be okay. Oh, almost around. We might have enough to finish this. Oh no, it dripped. It's okay. Why? Why do you drip like that? <laughs> We're almost doing so good. All right, well, <laughs> hey, that's actually kind of pretty looking. Look at that. Look at that. And now we can add sprinkles. See, no matter what, now it looks festive. Thinking a few more around the edge. We like color and rainbows, so why not? Gizmo, you can't eat a sprinkle. I mean, you can, but you don't want it. You don't want it. Gizmo, do you do? you want some of my cake? He's like, yes, please. Give me a bite. No. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Yay. And I wish for, I can't say my wish. <sighs> Yay. All right. So there's my birthday cake. Turned out all right. I wish I had a little bit more frosting, but I don't feel like making more. So we're just gonna go with it. It's a little bit bare, but it does still have tons of frosting inside and, our, and on the top. And yeah, yay, happy birthday. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now we should try it, I guess, no? No, oh, yeah, oh, can't forget that. Not just to look at, right? Okay, I'm scared to cut it. I am, but it's so gonna fall apart. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how this is gonna stay in one piece. It's so, it's so soft. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Ta-da, we got cake. <laughs> it's, it's crumbly and moist and delicious, but it's a cake, woo! Kind of crumbly, but that's not a bad thing, you know, then you know it's not dry. There's the inside, I know, I don't know, I don't know how people make like perfect layers. I'm not a, I'm not a perfectionist in that sense. I don't know, it'll still taste good, whatever. Okay. Let us try my birthday cake because I can. Probably would pair some nice ice cream to go with this. You can see the sprinkles a little bit, but yeah, obviously we could have probably added more sprinkles, but they are there. It is funfetti still. And we got the, the sprinkles on the top. Mmm. That's really nice. Like this is better than any like box funfetti that I've made. It's like super moist. But yes, I need ice cream. I love ice cream with my cake. <gasps> we have ice cream! Mom saves the day! Creamy vanilla! Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I guess we could do that too. Mm, but it is very moist. Like, you know how you get supermarket cakes and you need the frosting like a lot because it's super dry usually? This is not. Like the texture of the cake is just like nice and light. Yummy. I mean, I'm not gonna have the ice cream right now, but we have it for when we eat it later. <laughs> Mm, it's quite good, I will say so. This is probably the best cake I've made from scratch. I made cupcakes, so I, I won't compare cupcakes to cakes because like I made a lot of really good cupcakes. But usually cakes, I just don't have as good luck with them or something, I don't know. I think they're just harder to, to get perfectly right. And even with the three different layers being different variety of doneness, you don't really notice it. I guess the middle layer is still like a little bit lesser than it should be. But it's not like, you know, not cooked. Very good, yeah, okay, there you go. Yay, happy birthday, cool. Leave me a like and a comment. Tell me happy birthday maybe, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> is what it is, we're here. I'll be streaming over on uh, my Twitch channel today doing my birthday in The Sims. So if you guys wanna go check that out, you totally should too. I think 2 p.m. is when I'm gonna be starting that. If you're watching this video later, then it's irrelevant. If you're watching it early and on time, like you should, then I'll see you in a few hours then, okay? All right.